Which of these statements is true about drinking alcohol and driving? A. If you can walk in a straight line after drinking, it is safe to drive. B. If you are under the legal blood alcohol concentration limit, your driving isn't impaired. C. Alcohol affects judgment, which is needed to drive safely. C. Alcohol affects judgment, which is needed to drive safely. Being under the influence of alcohol affects your judgment. Good judgment is necessary to react appropriately to things that you see or hear while on the road. Even if you are below the legal blood alcohol limit, consuming any amount of alcohol is likely to affect your ability to drive safely. This road sign means? A. Cars in the right lane must slow down. B. No left turn. C. Merge. C. Merge. Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. This sign indicates that there could be traffic merging from the right, so drivers should prepare to allow traffic to safely merge. This road sign means? A. You must travel through the intersection at the posted speed limit. B. The maximum speed limit under ideal conditions is 55 miles per hour. C. You must not travel below the speed indicated. B. The maximum speed limit under ideal conditions is 55 miles per hour. Regulatory signs provide notice to road users of traffic laws that must be obeyed. This particular sign tells you the maximum speed limit for the stretch of highway where it is posted. You may drive more slowly than the posted speed limit, based on road conditions, but it is illegal to drive any faster than the posted speed limit. When passing a row of parked vehicles, you should a. be prepared for a person or vehicle to unexpectedly enter your lane. b. expect all other drivers and pedestrians to respect your right of way. c. drive closely to the parked vehicles to allow more room for moving traffic. a. be prepared for a person or vehicle to unexpectedly enter your lane. Keep a space between your vehicle and parked vehicles. A person may step out of a parked vehicle or out from between the parked vehicles without looking. A driver may begin moving their vehicle before realizing you are there. To improve visibility lowered by rain or fog, drivers should use their A. Low beam headlights. B. High beam headlights. C. Parking lights. A. Low beam headlights. Use low beam headlights when driving in rain, snow, sleet, or fog. High beam headlights in adverse weather conditions lower visibility by reflecting off the precipitation and back into the driver's eyes. Excessive speed? A. Saves time so you can get to your destination more quickly. B. Helps you maneuver around obstacles. C. Increases the likelihood of serious bodily injury and death. C. Increases the likelihood of serious bodily injury and death. Excessive speed is one of the most common contributing factors to vehicle crashes. Excessive speed does not save time and often leads to high-risk decision-making. When you see this road sign, you should a. Keep right. B. Keep left. C. Pass with caution. A. Keep right. Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. This sign indicates that a divided highway is beginning and cars should keep to the right. Which lane must you be in before making a left turn from a one-way street? A. The lane nearest the left curb. B. The lane nearest the center of the street. C. The lane nearest the right curb. A. The lane nearest the left curb. When making any turn, turn from the lane closest to the direction you wish to travel into the first available legal lane.
If you are making a left turn from a one-way street, this means that you would make the turn from the lane nearest to the left curb. If you approach a traffic light with a red signal and a police officer directs you to go through the intersection without stopping, you should a. Stop until the light turns green. b. Go through the intersection without stopping. c. Come to a complete stop before proceeding. b. Go through the intersection without stopping. Instructions given by police officers directing traffic always override posted traffic signals and signs. Follow the officer's instructions. A solid yellow line on your side of the center line means A. Reduce your speed. B. Traffic light ahead. C. Do not pass. C. Do not pass. Solid yellow lines on two-lane roads indicate zones where passing is prohibited. If a solid yellow line appears next to a broken yellow line, drivers in the lane nearest to the solid yellow line may not pass. In some instances, both yellow lines will be solid, indicating that it is not safe to pass from either direction. This sign means A. Upcoming downgrade or hill. B. Road construction area. C. Upcoming narrowing of roadway. A. Upcoming downgrade or hill. This sign warns of a dangerous downgrade or hill ahead. The hill may be very long or steep, or it may have sharp curves. This road sign means A. Watch for people crossing your path. B. No passing zone. C. Work zone ahead. C. Work zone ahead. This orange warning sign tells drivers that an area of roadwork is upcoming. When traveling through a work zone, stay alert for temporary traffic control devices. Which of these is a safe driving technique? A. Using your high beam lights in the fog. B. Staring at the road ahead of your vehicle. C. Checking your rear view mirrors frequently. C. Checking your rear view mirrors frequently. To stay aware of hazards, you should scan the road and check your rear view mirrors every 2 to 5 seconds. Constantly staring at just the road ahead of you is dangerous. If you must drive in foggy conditions, you should use your low beam headlights, not your high beam headlights. You may be able to identify an aggressive driver by a. their erratic and improper lane changes. b. The number of passengers in their car. C. Their tendency to drive slowly. A. Their erratic and improper lane changes. While driving, you should remain aware of the actions of surrounding drivers. If you notice an aggressive driver nearby making erratic or improper lane changes, you should not challenge them. The safest way to handle an aggressive driver is to get out of their way. A distraction when driving is a. Anything that causes evasive action while driving. b. Anything that takes your attention away from driving. c. Anything that causes you to pay more attention to driving. b. Anything that takes your attention away from driving. A distraction when driving is anything that takes your attention away from driving. Driver distractions may occur anytime and anywhere. Distracted driving can cause collisions, resulting in property damage, injury, and death. Having a driver license is a A. Requirement. B. Privilege. C. Right. B. Privilege. It is important to remember that driving is a privilege and that all drivers play a role in ensuring that everyone remains safe on the roadways. If you prove to be abusive of that privilege, the privilege may be revoked. Only fill in the blank can reduce blood alcohol content BAC and alcohol's effects on the body. A. Drinking caffeine. B. Eating foods high in fat. C. Time. 
c. time. Only the passage of time can remove alcohol and its impairing effects from the body. This sign means a. Curves ahead. b. Divided highway starts. c. Divided highway ends. c. Divided highway ends. Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. This sign warns that the divided highway ends ahead. Prepare to change lanes or shift lane position. From top to bottom, the following is the proper order for traffic lights. A. Red, yellow, green. B. Red, green, yellow. C. Green, red, yellow. A. Red, yellow, green. Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. They alert you to conditions that are immediately ahead. This sign warns drivers about the presence of traffic signals at an intersection ahead. This yellow signs means A. The road ahead has many curves. B. There is a sharp curve in the road ahead. C. The road ahead may be slippery. C. The road ahead may be slippery. This sign indicates that the road ahead may be slippery when wet. When approaching an intersection that is controlled by a flashing red traffic signal, you must a. Come to a complete stop, yield to oncoming traffic or pedestrians, then proceed. b. Reduce your speed and proceed with caution. c. Come to a complete stop and remain stopped as long as the light is red. a. Come to a complete stop, yield to oncoming traffic or pedestrians, then proceed. Treat a flashing red traffic signal the same as you would treat a stop sign. Come to a complete stop, yield to oncoming traffic or pedestrians, and proceed when the way is clear. This white sign means you should not pass other vehicles? a. Until after you pass the sign. b. Unless it seems safe to do so. C. For any reason. C. For any reason. A white rectangular sign indicates that you must obey the stated rule. This sign means that drivers should not pass other vehicles for any reason. The maximum posted speed limit should be driven only? A. During the night. B. During the day. C. Under ideal conditions. C. Under ideal conditions. The posted maximum speed limit is the fastest legal speed you can travel on a road under ideal conditions. It is safest to drive at the same speed as surrounding traffic, up to the maximum speed limit. Maintaining a safe speed at all times is a responsibility shared by all motorists. You are driving on the freeway behind a large truck. You should drive a. Closer behind the truck than you would if following a passenger vehicle. b. Farther behind the truck than you would if following a passenger vehicle. c. To the right side of the truck and wait to pass. b. Farther behind the truck than you would if following a passenger vehicle. It is necessary to follow farther behind a large truck than you would if following a passenger vehicle because trucks have larger blind spots. What does this road sign mean? A. Be ready to merge with traffic entering your lane. B. Always stop. C. Divided highway ahead. A. Be ready to merge with traffic entering your lane. Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. This sign warns that merging traffic will be entering from the right, so drivers should prepare to allow the incoming traffic to safely merge. This sign means A. Reserved parking for persons with disabilities. B. Slow moving vehicle. C. No U-turn. A. Reserved parking for persons with disabilities. 
This sign indicates parking spaces that are reserved for vehicles displaying persons with disabilities license plates, disabled veteran license plates, and or disabled parking placards. Increase your following distance when driving behind a large vehicle? A. To better see around the sides of the vehicle. B. Because other drivers tend to pull behind large vehicles before trying to pass them. C. Because following too closely will get you caught in the vehicle's slipstream. A. To better see around the sides of the vehicle. Drivers of trucks, buses, vans, and any vehicles pulling campers or trailers may not be able to see you if you are driving directly behind them. Increase your following distance when driving behind one of these vehicles. Additionally, large vehicles can block your view of the road, so increase your following distance to look around the sides of the vehicle and see the road ahead. This sign means A. Four-lane traffic ahead. B. Divided highway ahead. C. Two-way traffic ahead. C. Two-way traffic ahead. Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. They alert you to conditions that are immediately ahead. This sign warns that you are leaving a separated one-way highway and will soon be driving on a two-way highway. You have allowed the wheels of your vehicle to run off the edge of the pavement. What should you do first? A. Turn the front wheels slightly to the left to edge the car back onto the pavement. B. Hold the steering wheel firmly, release the gas pedal, and gently apply the brakes. C. Apply the brakes and turn the front wheels sharply to the left. B. Hold the steering wheel firmly, release the gas pedal, and gently apply the brakes. If your vehicle leaves the roadway, hold the steering wheel firmly, release the gas pedal, and gently apply the brakes. Wait until your speed has reduced, check the traffic, and look for a place to safely return to the roadway by merging back into traffic. Overcompensating by jerking the wheel to return to the roadway can cause you to lose control of your vehicle or may cause your car to go into other lanes of traffic. This sign means A. Do not enter. B. Yield the right of way. C. Reserved parking for persons with disabilities. A. Do not enter. This sign is posted on one-way streets and other roadways where a driver is not allowed to enter. A driver may see this sign if attempting to enter an expressway ramp in the wrong direction. This road sign means A. Road widens ahead. B. Lane reduction. The right lane ends soon and traffic should merge left. C. Highway entrance ramp ahead. B. Lane reduction. The right lane ends soon and traffic should merge left. A warning sign is usually yellow with black markings. This sign warns that the number of lanes ahead is reduced and that traffic will need to merge to the left. An orange and red triangular sign on a vehicle always means A. The vehicle has the right of way. B. Slow moving vehicle. C. Shoulder work ahead. B. Slow moving vehicle. Slow moving vehicles, such as farm tractors, road maintenance vehicles, and animal drawn carts, display an orange and red triangle on the back. This sign means A. Railroad ahead. B. No passing zone. C. School zone. A. Railroad ahead. A round yellow sign indicates that there is a railroad crossing ahead. What does this road sign mean? A. Slow down and prepare to stop if cars are approaching you. B. Come to a full stop then proceed when it is safe to do so. C. Proceed carefully through the intersection, not always stopping. B. Come to a full stop then proceed when it is safe to do so. An octagonal sign always means stop. 
When approaching a stop sign, you must come to a complete stop at the marked stop line and proceed only when it is safe to do so. If there is no stop line, stop before the crosswalk. If there is no crosswalk, stop before the intersection at a point from which you can see any oncoming traffic. What does this road sign mean? A. Winding road. B. Loose gravel. C. Slippery when wet. C. Slippery when wet. This sign indicates that the road may be slippery when wet. Exercise caution when driving on a slippery road. If your vehicle has a two-part safety belt system, you should A. Use only the lap belt. B. Use both the lap and shoulder belts. C. Use only the shoulder belt. B. Use both the lap and shoulder belts. If your vehicle has a two-part seat belt system, be sure to wear both the lap belt and the shoulder belt. Wearing either part alone greatly reduces your protection. If you have an automatic shoulder belt, be sure to buckle your lap belt as well. What should you do when you see this sign? A. Look for a train station ahead. B. Signal before going any further. C. Slow down and yield to trains. C. Slow down and yield to trains. A round sign means you are approaching a railroad crossing. This sign is posted a few hundred feet in front of the tracks and tells drivers to slow down, look, listen, and prepare to stop. When you see this sign, you should stop and A. Check for vehicles only in the direction that you plan on going, then proceed. B. Let all vehicles that arrive before or after you go first. C. Check for traffic in all directions before proceeding. C. Check for traffic in all directions before proceeding. At a stop sign, you must come to a full stop and check for traffic in all directions before proceeding. A sign with this shape means A. No passing zone. B. Right turn permitted on red. C. Yield right of way. A. No passing zone. A pennant-shaped sign marks the beginning of a no passing zone. A blood alcohol concentration of 0.02%? A. Won't have any effect on your driving. B. Won't put other drivers at risk. C. Will double your chances of having an accident. C. Will double your chances of having an accident. Every 0.02% increase in blood alcohol concentration nearly doubles a driver's risk of being in a fatal crash.